What's up guys, my name is Blake and today I'm going to be giving my final thoughts on the Logitech Rugged Folio keyboard case for the 7th generation iPad. Let's go! Alright guys, so about a week and a half ago I did uh, like an unboxing overview type of video on this case, Logitech Rugged uh, keyboard folio case for the 7th generation 10.2 inch iPad. So uh, without further ado, I'm just going to get right into what I think about it. Um, overall, I think I am definitely happy with it. Um, like I said in the last video, it was $140. Uh, I'll put the link in the description if you want to check it out. Um, there are some pros and cons. I'll get into that really, really quick. Uh, but yeah, right out the gate, I'm just going to say I like it. I'm glad I bought it. It's definitely worth the money. So uh, first of all, I want to talk about kind of like the user experience, what it feels like using the case, um, how it is using it like, like when I'm not using the keyboard. Is it annoying uh, having to move the keyboard all the time? So. My initial reaction was kind of be that the keyboard was going to kind of be a pain in the butt because I'm not always typing on stuff, um, but it's just kind of something that's there. But all in all, I really, really love the user experience of this thing. And not only does it is it protecting my iPad really well, but the keyboard works very well with the iPad. Um, and that's a big reason why I wanted to get this one that has the smart connector because it works so seamlessly. All the shortcuts that are on the top of the top row of the keyboard, they all work. They all have a purpose. It's not just like buttons that look nice. A lot of times you'll get like a Bluetooth keyboard that has a bunch of shortcuts that might not work with something like this. But like I said, all that stuff works with it. The keyboard is very, very nice to use. But yeah, the overall user experience of this thing, very nice. I like it a lot. In talking about the user experience, the cool thing about this laptop, <laughs> I said the laptop. The cool thing about this, uh, this case is that it really gives you a laptop feel. So I mean, it, it's like it's like a smaller laptop. It, it feels just like my 13-inch um, Mac Pro. Obviously, a little bit smaller, but it feels just like that. The keyboard is like it's it's not too small. It, I really enjoy the experience. Typing on it is very very comfortable. You know, I'm more, I put my hands on the keys. My muscle memory just goes to work, and it, it's not so like I have to make an adjustment for a smaller keyboard or anything like that. It feels really really nice, and yeah, it's it's kind of cool. It's a lot. Of, it's really funny because when I was using it, there was a couple of times where. Um, I just had it like this and I was just like browsing the internet or on YouTube or something like that or typing something on an internet browser. I would go to like use the trackpad or something like that like I would on my, uh, on like my Mac, my Mac, uh, my MacBook Pro. Um, so yeah, so stuff like that that's really funny. And then vice versa from that, when I was actually using my laptop, I started trying to scroll on the screen because I was so used to typing and actually touching the screen on the iPad to scroll down and then typing more or whatever. I started doing that on my laptop, which is really, really funny because I started, I started really getting used to this. So this really, like I said, all in all, it gives this like a really, really cool laptop feel. Now when it comes to the actual material that it's made out of, it's kind of, I don't know what material it is, but it's not like... A, it's not like a smooth hard shell plastic or leather or something like that. It's kind of like this, like a canvasy type material um, that will get dirty, it will get stained, and that's the thing that I don't like about it. I, I use it a lot, I carry it with me everywhere, I take it in the car with me. I mean, it's already kind of gotten a little bit dingy, a little bit dirty, um, and cleaning this and wiping this down isn't going to be very easy, and over time it's probably going to get really nasty looking. Um, so that is kind of a con for me. All right, uh, now I want to talk about like the trust factor. How much do you trust your case that you're buying for your device? How much do you trust it? Um, when you put your device in it, are you how how safe do you feel it, that that device is going to be? Are you good with just tossing it um, on the counter on to, on your bed? Are you good with just setting it somewhere and not worrying about it? Um, or are you kind of nervous about it? So the trust factor for this case for me is very very high. Um, it it's got like this, uh, like I showed you in the overview video, this little thing that the iPad actually sits in is kind of like a shell. It protects the whole, at all the edges and the back of the iPad when you're using it. And then obviously when you close the cover, it's covering it all 360 degrees all the way around the device. Um, and it feels really solid, feels really rugged, feels really premium. When I, uh, I, I'm perfectly fine with leaving it on the table. I'm perfectly fine with tossing it on my bed. Um, all that stuff, I don't worry about it at all. Like I said, I bring it in the car, I put it on the dashboard, I set it um, in the middle console or something like that. I don't worry about it breaking, getting scratched, anything like that. This case is very, very durable, very rugged as the name shows. Um, and yeah, I really trust the case. I like it a lot. It feels premium, like I said. Um, and I don't wor have to worry about the iPad getting hurt at all, which is really, really nice, especially when you're spending $140. Apple Pencil, so the thing that I really, really love about this is that it's got a home for the Apple Pencil right back here. And when I'm not using the Apple Pencil, which is, I mean, honestly, it's a lot, um, it just sits there. And then it kind of magnets onto the back here. Um, and so 
when I'm not using my Apple Pencil, it just sits there in, in this little sleeve and this little home, and I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to worry about it getting lost, um, and me setting it down and get, it getting broken or something like that. When I bought that Apple Pencil, that was the, that was the only thing that I didn't like. I didn't really have anywhere to put it. I didn't I didn't want it to get busted. Didn't want to lose it. Um, so the, the fact that this got this little sleeve, I, I always keep it in here. It's got this little home. Um, and I don't worry about it getting hurt getting, and getting lost and all that stuff. So I really love that feature about it. Battery drainage. Um, honestly, I don't, I don't pay a whole lot of attention to the battery life of my devices. I just, I use them. I charge them when they need to be charged. Um, if, uh, the only time I notice it is if it starting to, starts to drain very, very quickly. And just from a normal guy, normal consumer, normal battery usage, I use my iPad a lot. I've used the keyboard a good amount. I have not noticed any significant drainage from the from the battery using the keyboard um, at all. Actually, I haven't used, I haven't noticed it draining at all. Um, and like I said, it uses the smart connector, so the only time you're actually pulling power is when you're actually using it. Um, so it's connected to it, and when you whip it out to use it, whatever power it needs to communicate with the iPad, it's like very minimal. Um, and like I said, it's not something that you have to charge. It's just something that's there. It connects to the smart connector, so it's always powered. It's always connected, and um, it doesn't drain the battery. So yeah, that's nice. The keyboard, when not in use, because quite frankly, I don't use the keyboard all the time. I use it, uh, depending, like if I'm writing something up or internet shopping or something like that, I'll use the keyboard quite a bit. But when it's not in use, is it annoying? Is it annoying to have to open up the iPad and fold it back and fold the keyboard up and not have to use it and all that stuff? Is it annoying to do that? Ah, uh, at first I thought it was going to be. Now that I'm just now that I've I've used it for about a week and a half, I'm just really used to opening it up. If I find no, I'm not going to use the keyboard. I just automatically fold it back. I don't have to think about it, um, and it's not annoying. And um, honestly, I just I think it's one of those things that you got to get used to. If you you know if it's something that it's a, if it's a feature that you want to add to your iPad experience, um, then it's just something you're going to have to get used to. And then yeah, it is what it is. To me, it's not annoying when it's not in use. I know it's back here, and if I ever need it, I just flip it out. Um, yeah, I think it's fine. I think it, I think it folds up nice, um, and it's not in the way. So overall, all in all, my review, I do like the case. I think it's definitely worth the money. I think it's definitely going to protect the device. But the biggest question is this: Does it improve your iPad experience? Does it improve the experience of 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 your device? Um, and to me, I say yes. It definitely improves the experience. Not only does it protect it, improves my experience when I'm say I'm typing up a paper. Uh, for, for school or if I'm, like I said, if I'm internet shopping or something like that, or even if I'm just on YouTube and I want to use the keyboard to type in whatever I want to search, um, it does improve the the, uh, the iPad experience for me, especially because the because of the smart connector and all the, the keys on the keyboard actually work with the, um, all the shortcuts on there actually work with iOS, so the, you have like a home button on there and all this stuff. Even even when you go to unlock your device, if you just pull the keyboard out instead of tapping in it, you know, typing your code or in on the screen or something like that, I just just like on a laptop, you can hit the space bar, type in your code at the top of the keypad, and it lets you in just like on a normal laptop. It's very very cool. So to me, yes, it does improve the iPad experience. You probably should see for yourself. So I'm going to put a link in the description below. If you like this review, please like, comment, share, subscribe. If you have any questions more at all about this device, please put them in the comment box below. I will be very diligent in answering all your guys' questions. And so, yeah, big shout out to, I think his name is Beto Guerra. He's the guy who actually requested that I do like a week in review. So um, shout out to you, Beto Guerra. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. See you later.